today is I don't even know what today is it's Sunday April the 23rd or 24 no wait a minute 25th or 26th and we're targeting we're gonna go after some gravel pit crappie it's connected to the river by about a 10 foot gap that connects the river to the lake and we're going to go back in this gravel pit, not the one you're seeing right now, a smaller one that's above the bridge up here. And we're going to try for some white and black crappie and maybe some spotted bass or whatever hits. Got spinner baits, crank baits, and bobby garlands and minnows. So we can't go wrong with four different tactics. big waves in here. I've seen him in the summertime. I recognize that guy. He's out here a lot. The man came just straight here though. Should catch any second. Good Lord. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, I had a crappie around in here somewhere. At the time, I could see the log down there, though, and I can't right this second. I'll probably get hung. There he is. Yes, big crappie. Told you. This is where it was. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. Oh yeah, 13 inch already guys. Very first fish is a nice slab white. Oh my gosh. I think he's 14, Wilma. 15. We gotta measure that, get my measuring tape out. All right guys, got him on the pearl white, Bobby Garland. Get the measuring tape out. Check this white out. Whoa. That might go, he's 14, I think. Or it's just one of them that's real fat and tall and not long. He kind of does look short now that I look at it. It might only be about 12. Still nice. We'll keep these. Nothing to keep them in, but good Lord. He is 13 even. Yep. Here. Ah, get, just give me my backpack. Hand me my backpack. God, that's a toad. Ain't you glad we came now? We picked this over Palmer Slough. I think it was worth it. If I caught one that quick, first cast on a Bobby Garland. Very, no, just give me the backpack. Guys. This is a hell of a start to the day right here. We got four good hours left. Look at that slab, 13 inch white, female, full of eggs. The girth on this thing is just unreal. Nice gravel pit slab. Oh my. What a toad. Oh my God, 
You want to keep them, then we can put them in the middle bucket before we leave. Big one again. It's a slab. That, that tree I'm talking about is right in front of you going down diagonal. See the stump coming out diagonal? That's the tree I'm talking about. I found it now. I didn't see it till just now. Oh my gosh. Guys, these are absolute giants in this gravel pit. Oh my God. Every one is 12 and over. And I got a black this time. No, it's not. It's white. Actually, that, that's a hybrid. Yeah, it's got the... It's a hybrid crappie, I'm pretty sure. There could be black nose in here, too. That tree goes down diagonal. If you let your lure fall too far, it's going to get caught. That thing comes out like 20 foot down. That's the tree I'm talking about. It's a white. It's a white. Never mind. That'll work, too. That one. You just got to learn to count your lure right speed you want to reel it in really slow let it fall exactly four feet right there is where I caught him one three four you got to count that lure down when it hits the water another 13 inch or guys another slab of rube. don't move real hard for a minute two crappie only so far in the first half hour but they were both 13 inchers guys my gosh Amazing. Wow, twelve and a half and thirteen. Except the time I was with Virgil, I caught a 14 inch, but it wasn't nothing like, it was real thin. All right guys, first spotted bass of the day right on that tree. I bet that's what hit me earlier when as soon as it hit the water. Little bitty guy, but it's a fish. Wilma has missed three nice crappie. slab oh man look at that one. Oh my god oh, yeah something's wrong with it he's 11 oh, finally a minnow worked for me guys I've been struggling with the minnow they keep falling off or they're stealing them or something this guy's about 11 still an awesome average in here I can't believe it everyone's decent He's got something definitely wrong with him on this side. These are some nice white crappie in here, guys. Without a doubt. Wow, beauty though. Yeah, there was something wrong with him.
or snag. Oh, you got a nice one, yep. Man. It's a crappie. No, it's a bass. Spotted bass. It's a nice one, though. You caught him right in the about three foot of water. About 12 inches. Hold on, let me uh, get this all the way in. Alright, hold on. Alright, Wilma with her first spotted bass. I gotta change my battery again. Hold it down. There you go. Good job, honey. Well, spotted bass. I changed my battery and forgot to have it on. Been having a heck of a time. These spotted bass are spawning right on the bank. And they're grabbing our minnows just to defend their bed. Right by the bank. It's a lot of fun. We just caught four of them in a matter of two minutes. She missed a nice one. inch spotted bass right, hold him up again there you go yeah he's pretty forgot to turn my camera on again when I change the battery I know for a fact there's another bass sitting over there underneath that tree I think there would be a crappie nail on this a little but I'm happy to get it if I can get it I'm gonna try robbed me no he didn't he was on there the whole time and I didn't know there went my minnow <laughs> all right guys another spotted bass real plain looking guy almost looks like a mean mouth but it's not dang close looking though I sight fished him I knew exactly where he was set I guess give me another minnow. I think there might, might be one more set in there. I might as well get it. Then we'll move. Why are we... There he is! I don't think it's the one I had. This is small. It's a little bass. But I'm telling you, that fish I just had was something real serious. It was a, a gar at first, and then it ended up being a crappie. All right, little spotted bass, guys. Four pound line and a pearl Bobby Garland again. Not a bad one this time. He's biggest one of the day that we've actually got all the way in. Oh yeah. Don't move for a second. He is not bad. Pretty little bass. I think we might be getting the evening bite started. Maybe. All I know is I had something spectacular. That thump I had twice in one cast, and it was a felt like a totally different fish. Alright guys, well I caught those three nice crappie, but other than that it was hard. She missed two nice crappie and a big spotted bass. I missed something that is a mystery. I never even got to set the hook on it. And I know it was another big slab. If we would have got all the ones we missed, we would have had a good day. But the fish were just far apart. We, we got on them crappie real quick right here and then it just died. I think there's not a very good population of them in here, but when you do get one, it's a slab, which sometimes I prefer that. But the numbers were just a little too low. It probably wasn't a good day. We had a whole inch of rain last night, or yesterday, during the day. So that probably didn't help. And then it went to bluebird skies today. So if we would have had a little cloud cover at least fair weather we would probably got caught a lot more anyway until next time hit that like button and please subscribe